All right, good morning, J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Jeff DeLoach, Bible teaching with Jeff DeLoach. Jeff DeLoach, say it loud, say it proud. Jeff DeLoach, gosh, dirt it. Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters, the family that listens, the few, the proud, the people with a spirit and a brain. Hallelujah. Amen, Lord. Bring them on. Bring them forth, Lord. Come on. Bring them home. Amen. So we're talking about the wilderness, the wilderness, the wilderness. Duh. Holy cow, people. I've been looking at this for so long. I've been looking at this for so long. I'm not talking about this lifetime. I'm talking about multiples. I've been looking at this for so long. Over and over and over and over again. I'm in every day he gives me more. And you know what? It feels like it feels like getting a whooping every day. Away in the wilderness. So we're talking about the wilderness. What's the wilderness? That's where the spirit comes out of. That That's a place. That's the desert. That's no man's land. That's a dry place where the rivers of flowing water, you can find them. And when you find them, you, you latch onto them because you're so fucking thirsty. No one's thirsty. Wait, wait till... We tell everyone's in the wilderness. Where's all the thirsty people? They're out here, but what are they drinking? Bunch of piss water? Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. We're talking about the wilderness. This is Isaiah 13. 43, 8. I'm sorry. I am the Lord. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes, the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Who? Who? Me! Shut the fuck up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who can show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified. Or let them hear and say, It is truth. Anyone get a... Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? You are my witnesses, said the Lord. You are my witnesses and my servant whom I have chosen that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there is no God for him, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord. And beside me there is no Savior. One God, one Spirit, one, one, one. Are you one with the Lord? Who saves you? Who saves you? You save you. How do you save you? You go into the wilderness and you go into the dry place. You get the fuck out of Egypt, out of this shithole. You pull yourself away from it. You don't act like these other fucking beasts. And you look for the flowing waters, the fountain of youth, the lovey-dovey Ever flowing, everlasting, eternal waters from Jesus Christ. I have declared and have saved and have showed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, said the Lord, that I am God. There was a time when we knew who our God was. So who's the witnesses? People like me that know it. I know it. I know it. Hello. Hello. 
Yea, before the day was I, yea, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can del deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? He's going to, these stupid ass Christians. Oh, Harpazo, I'm saved. Woohoo, I'm doing the work. You're not doing shit. You're fumbling, stumbling, and proud, arrogant, and ridiculously dumb. Sorry. Word of truth. Ezekiel 34, 25. We're talking about the wilderness. Someone, someone just put me out of my misery, man. You have no idea. You have no idea what I go through doing these messages. And no one, no one, no one says, Jeff DeLoach, man, we need to get with that dude. He's got the truth. Nope. Most High Son, thank you, brother. One or two. Most people can't even, Ahmad Gabar disappeared. He couldn't even take it. Couldn't even take it anymore. Fell off. Sorry, Ahmad. You, I know, I know. Imagine how I feel. He he failed. He, he 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 fell off. He couldn't he couldn't do it. He couldn't even he couldn't even mimic me. Cause it's impossible. You can't mimic the truth. He tried. Ezekiel thirty four twenty five. We're talking about the wilderness. A covenant of peace. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. One shepherd, one. We're all, if you're in the Holy Spirit, if you're, if you have the spirit that was given to you in the wilderness, and you came into the promised land, and you tasted that, the beauty of the Lord, you've tasted it. And you're saved and you're here. You should be trying to explain it to other people. Even if it's almost impossible because people are so brain dead. The Lord, the Lord, that's what these idiots don't understand. Tony Williams doesn't understand. The Lord doesn't want him to get it. The Lord wants to destroy that dude, just ruin him. I'm trying to help him, but he's not going to get it. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken it. What is it? It's the same thing. It's saying there's going to be men on the planet, plain. There's going to be men on the flat plain shepherding you, like me, son of David. We're here. He's like, I did it. It's, it wasn't my fault you didn't listen. And I will make with them a covenant of peace. It will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land. And they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. Who's the beasts? Who are the fucking beasts? Tony Williams, Matthias, Gabar, Tahar, these guys that are coming up with these other names for God. IUIC, um, anyone who's antichrist, anyone that's talking nonsense, you take this word and you start twisting it and putting fucking icing on it and filling it with with your own cream and defiling it the word is meant to be eaten the way it is fucking written you don't you don't add on to it you don't take away from it you read it how it's written what the fuck does it say <sighs> shall we get shall dwell safely in the wilderness I will make them and the places round about my hill 
a blessing. I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessings. What do you get in the wilderness? Once you come out of Egypt, fuck, man. Do you have to be a fucking, do you have to be a high IQ, super intelligent person to understand this? No. It's simple. You come out of Egypt, you go into the wilderness because you can't stand this fuckhole. These fucking beasts. These dead fucking zombies that you're walking around with. You come away from them. Now you're alone. Who are you alone with? You're alone with your own spirit and God's spirit. And that's where you find your rest. You get away from these fucking nincompoops. What's that? My hill. Zion. A blessing. I will cause showers. Showers of what? Showers of blessing. Showers of water. Showers of anointing oil. Everything good. In the wilderness. It's not... It's not Petra. But it is Petra. It's not Petra. It's not the fucking place. It's the rock. You're running to David. What's it say? I will... I will send you out to David, my servant David, Petra, Simon Peter. I'm going to build a rock on, oh, I'm going to build my church on you. David, you're the rock. Peter, come on, man. I know the Bible better than most anyone. I do. I do. How's that work? And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. You're still in the wilderness. And the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be safe in their land. And shall know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke. And delivered them out of the hands of those that serve themselves of them. Tony. You want to go into the wilderness. You, you're going to be in the wilderness nigga. And you're not going to like it. Because you're going to. You, you love Babylon. You love Egypt. You fucking wicked motherfucker. Stupid. Tony Williams is stupid. I don't know if he's a bot. I can't believe that anyone is that stubborn and that stupid. It's unbelievable. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen. Neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely and none shall make them afraid. Holy cow, what, how hard is it, Tony Williams? All you had to do was look up a couple verses. Does it say, does it say in the wilderness of Judea? Tony? Killing me, killing me. Psalm 107. I don't, I'm, I'm done. Can't stand it anymore. Fucking losing my fucking mind over this shit. Don't want to serve. Don't want to fuck. Don't want to get high. Don't want to do anything except teach the Bible and no one's even listening. It's fucking pathetic. Book five of the books of Psalms. Five, five books. Psalm 107 is the first book of book five. It's called God's Redemptive Power. Why? What does the wilderness have to do with redemption, people? What does the wilderness have to do with redemption, people? You got to come out of Egypt. You got to be. You can't be a fucking beast. Psalm 107, the first of the fifth book, the first Psalm of the fifth book of the five books of songs. God's redemptive power. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy 
endures how long? Forever. How long have you been here? Forever. How long have I been here? Forever. How long am I going to be here? Forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so when he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I'm saying so. And gather them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Is that Judea, Tony Williams? You, you idiot, man. Where's God's people? Where's God's people? Where are they? Where? Everywhere. They're scattered to the four corners of the flat plain. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. What did the Lord say? The birds, the fowls have, the trees and the, the critters of the ground have holes to, to hide in. But the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Why, Tony Williams? Because he's in the wilderness. Where are we, believers? Israel, where are we? In the wilderness. Where are we, believers? Where are we, Israel? In the wilderness. Where's the wilderness, people? All across the flat plain. Why are we in the wilderness, people? Because we know the Spirit and we hate Egypt. We're not going back to Egypt. And we're not home yet, so we're in the wilderness. Are we in Judea, people? No. I'm in Huntington Beach. Where are you? Then they cried unto the Lord, hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Where's all the thirsty people? Where are they? They're everywhere, but they don't even know that they're fucking dehydrated and dying of hunger and thirst. They don't know it. They don't even know they're dying. I'm not dying. I'm going to hard pot so. All right. Good for you, dumbass. Good for you. What's it say? Do we do we bunch up? Do we bunch up in the wilderness? Do we bunch up? What's the wilderness? You're by yourself. You see any fucking niggers by me? Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, and they might go to a city of habitation. Where are we going? Back to the New Jerusalem. We want to go home. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Oh, oh, Tony, let's go to the wilderness of Judea. <coughs> Get me out of here. Because they rebelled, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the word of God and condemned the counsel of the Most High, 
Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. What do these idiots workspace idiots do? Oh, I'm going to work my way into heaven. That's what it means. They're laboring. They're, they're trying to do something, but they don't even know what they're doing. Labor. Work your way into heaven. He brought them out of the sh darkness and shadow of death and broke their bands. The soul, their soul abhors all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. <clears throat> How many times have I said it? They're dead. They're dying. They're sick. There's a bunch of sick fucks out here, and they don't even know they're sick. And they're making me sick. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Matthew 3 and 1. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Why? <coughs> Why the wilderness of Judea, people? Why? Because Jesus is king of the Jews. So when it says wilderness of Judea, it means everywhere you're in the wilderness. Everywhere, Tony. Not Petra, not outside Jerusalem, not in the hill country of Israel. No, no, no. You dumb fucking Negro. Dude. All the waters, all the living waters, every beautiful anointing oil, every meat of the word of truth, every bit of milk, honey, all of it, the grapes, the vine, every good thing that's in the wilderness comes from Judea, comes from Judah, Benjamin, Judah and Benjamin, come on. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Can you see I'm distressed, people? <clears throat> Can you see it? Does anyone care to comfort me? Does anyone even know how to do it? I got to get out of this truck. It's getting hot. <clears throat> Do 
This place is fucked up. People are fucking... Why do you think they have all these zombie movies? Because they these... These people with ability to tell stories, you know what story they're telling? The same one I'm telling. There's a bunch of zombies out here walking around in the wilderness. They're, they they don't, they don't even want to go in the wilderness. They're just walking around in Egypt going, yeah, more leeks, more cucumbers. I'm out. I love you guys.